गाइस, आई एम खुशबू एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू बिगिन विथ डेटा एनालिसिस सो लेट्स फर्स्ट लर्न प्लॉटिंग स्कैटर प्लॉट्स ऑल राइट सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी डिफरेंट कस्टमाइजेशन अवेलेबल एंड वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू प्लॉट अ लीनियर एंड अ नॉन लीनियर स्कैटर प्लॉट right so let's read the question a sample of 10 claims and corresponding payments on the settlement for house policies is taken from the business of an insurance company the amounts in 100 pounds in the units of 100 pounds are as follows so these are the claims and these are the payments okay this information is contained in the data file called linear.txt so we are going to import that data file so, so first of all we have to set the working directory okay and uh, let's just use the read table function and read it into our system let's see the heading okay you can see that the column names are given as v1 and v2 which is not correct right because claims and payments are taken as the first row which is not right we want the claims and the payments to be the headings of these columns right so what we'll do inside the read table function we are going to set header as true okay and when you do that you can see now that when you again see the head of the df1 data frame the claims and the payments are the headings and your data starts in the first row as the numbers only right so if you don't use header is equal to true it is going to think that the headers are a part of the data okay so this was about reading the data into it let's plot a scatter graph so you can just use the plot function and plot it so you can see that the points are plotted like this against the claims as the x axis and payments on the y axis okay so you can see that the first column is always taken as x and the second column is always taken as y by default right and uh, these are the values corresponding to each one of them now default line type that is lty you have seen this particular argument earlier in the plots function and the default value for that is p which stands for points okay which is what we want right now so we are not going to change the line type to anything and then we have seen that uh, the claims and the payments these two columns have a heading name right so both the columns have the names so those are the things that are going to appear here okay in case we did not have anything in case we just had a data uh, with just numbers without any column headings it was going to write x over here and y over here okay so what could we do we could use the x lab and y lab that is standing for x label and y label these two arguments and define the names that we want to put right we'll see that a little later or you might have seen it earlier as well okay and by default the scatter plot or the plot function draws circles for points okay it can be changed to any other option as well so you can see these are circles by default we can change it by using the pch argument so let's try it for different values right so pch1 is this so the default value for pch function is 1 let's try what comes with 0 so with 0 there are squares with 2 there are triangles with 3 there are plus sign then with 4 there are x's at 20 these are disks or uh, filled circles and with 16 they are fatter filled circles so i'm going to stick to the plus sign so i'll be using pch3 okay and uh, you can see in this particular graph there is no heading to this right we could put a heading over here to name the uh, plot so we can use the main argument over here m a i n main and set a heading okay and pch has set it to be 3 naturally so now you can see the heading is here uh, this is exactly what we have put okay and we could also add color to the points example color is equal to blue or make them thicker example using the line width as 2 right so we will be dealing with all these uh, functionalities as in when we'll be plotting a lot of other graphs okay so now this was linear data you can see the points are in the linear progression now let's plot a scatter graph for non linear data so the rate of the interest on borrowing over the next 5 years for 10 companies is compared to each company's leverage ratio so that is its debt to equity ratio okay so the data is as follows the ratio is this and the interest rate is this this information is contained in the data file called non linear.csv so let's read it into our system and this is a csv file so we are going to use the read.csv function 
so this is what we see over here okay we have said the header to be true but by default inside the read csv not read table but inside the read csv function the header is having the value as true by default so in case we are going to redefine it without using the header argument and see it again it is going to have headers so remember while you are using the read dot csv uh, function there is no need to define header as anything by default it is going to be true in case you don't want a header then you can put false but other, otherwise it doesn't make sense right so now let's plot this with small circles and a title right so df2 is to be plot we are going to put a title as company borrowing and interest rates okay uh, remember it is character string so we are going to put it under two inverted commas and the x lab as i talked about the label for the x axis i want it to be le leverage ratio instead of just leverage i want to write leverage ratio so i'm going to define x lab and put the thing and similarly the y lab in the table it has just interest as the as the heading but i want y lab to be interest rate and the percentage symbol in the brackets so i'll set that and i'm going to use pch as 20 right so this is what we see we can see it is not linear it probably is a log function okay so let's redefine or just make a new data frame called df2 log where we are going to make a data frame out of the first column of df2 so that is the leverage and we are going to add the log values of the second column that is the interest rates of the df2 data frame that we already have and create a new data frame call it df2 log so let's do this and this is what you see now you can see the the headings are a little messed up these are the log values of the interest rate and these are the values for the leverage ratio okay that is fine but the headings are a little messed up so what we could do is we could in fact inside the data frame function while just writing the values to be taken we can call them and give them the value so i am going to say that i want leverage to be equal to df2's first column and i want log underscore interest as the log of the df2's second column right so when you do this you can see the exact headings as you told are put over here it is to be noted that we can't use log interest with space without any symbol under it as it is going to think that is it is a separate function even uh, writing it under double inverted commas is going to give you log dot interest okay so remember because log is an inbuilt function it can create a problem so always put an underscore or a dot or anything that can differentiate it from the usual log function okay so now let's plot a new plot okay for the same data but on the log scale right so we are going to plot the df2 log function and the main is going to be company borrowing and interest rates the x lab is leverage ratio the y lab is log interest rate pch 20 okay so this is it right these are the log values of the interest rates and now you can see this is more or less linear right it is not perfect but still it is quite linear all right so this was about scatter plots you have learned how to plot them on your graphs and this was pretty much easy because we have been dealing with plotting graphs earlier as well make sure that you go through this once quickly and you should be good to go Thank you see you again later